lot of stuff that went around about um, the me generation and uh, all its accompanying narcissism and uh, all of the negative things that were piled up on that. I think often there's a great deal of confusion about what I mean when I you know, ask people in that sense to remind them to love themselves. Self-love is really an incredible thing. I think it is one of the rarest things that we have on the planet. I'm not talking about vanity. You know, vanity, vanity, everything is vanity. It's not about vanity. It's not about the self-love where, you know, you pat yourself on the back because you have accomplished something and you think that you're terrific. It has nothing to do with that. You know, it has nothing to do with puffery. It has nothing to do with egoism. It doesn't. It has nothing to do with that. I mean, all bioforms are fundamentally insecure. It's the nature of being a bioform. It's why we all have an immune system, and it's why we all have built-in fear mechanisms that are there within us. Out of those fears, depending on the way in which we deal with the world around us, arises all kinds of insecurities, uncertainties. I mean, look at the way in which we're raised. I mean, it's the first thing to understand about how far away we are from ourselves. You know, we're raised with deep, deep conditioning. We're not raised according to our nature. We're not nourished according to our design. We're not given the opportunities to be able to develop in a way that is correct for us. We're not. We're, we're conditioned from the moment that we enter into the world. And you know what happens to, in that. You, you know, you see children who are standing in front of the mirror in the morning, you know, before they're on their way to, you know, the school, the institution that's going to continue the conditioning. And they look at that mirror, and, and what they're looking at is they're looking for something. They're looking for something that's not them. You know, they're, they're, they want to be uh, like somebody else or better than somebody else or, you know, they have been conditioned already by their families that they're not good enough for this or that and why can't they be like this or that and all of those things. And at a very early age, human beings don't really think very much of themselves. I tell you, I, re I remember. I remember what it was like when I started my career as an analyst. And uh, I did a lot of traveling in that era and, and met people from all different kinds of walks of life and from different cultures around the world. And uh, they all suffered from the same malaise. They all suffered from the, the same pain within them, this, this lack of respect for themselves. I mean, it's so interesting when you think about how diabolical the awakening process is that you have to be so incredibly disgusted with yourself and your life in order to have a chance to even break out of that. Doesn't say much for the nature of the human process, does it? See, self-love is a really rare thing because self-love is rooted in your own authority. Your own authority. It's what happens to us in terms of conditioning from the moment we come into the world is that we lose our authority on this plane. We are trained to give up our authority, to give up our authority to our parents, to our teachers, you know, to give up authority to any authority figure. I mean, we give up authority to our partners, our friends, our dogs, you name it. We give up authority. We give up authority to governments, to gods. You know, we give up authority to everything. It's fundamental in us because everything about the homogenized world is rooted in control. The only way to keep our society civil, so to speak, is control. It's all about control. And having authority over, you know, the population is the only way the control mechanism works. So we're all trained from a very early age to give up our authority. Yet the moment that you give up your authority, the moment that, you know, it is all in the hands of the others, you're never complete. You can never trust in yourself. And then, of course, you end up in a life in which your not-self-mind, rooted in your openness and your conditioning, is making decisions for you taking you further and further away from who it is that you are. See, human design offers a strategy and an authority, an inner authority, not a made-up one, not a philosophical one, but an authority that's part of your biological mechanism. It's your wiring. And it's an authority that doesn't require your mind. It's an authority that allows you to operate correctly as yourself. It allows you to navigate on this plane correctly as you. It just does. You know, this is what authority is all about. You see, in the moment that you begin to experiment with your authority, you discover something, you know. It's quite remarkable. 
that you're okay. Not only are you okay, but you can navigate on this plane. You can. You can. You know, this is the first thing you discover. Oh, gee, look at that. You know, I can deal with this. I can handle that. You know, that life suddenly becomes something that is much, much easier to deal with. And for the first time, you begin to experience the potential inherent in you when you are your own authority. This is where the self-love begins. It begins with trust. With trust. Not trust in somebody else's authority, but trust in your authority. Oh, it's really a remarkable thing because the moment that you trust in your authority, you begin to see that you're perfectly equipped to live your life. Your life. That it's unique. It's differentiated. It's special. It deserves your love. You know, it's when you find this true security. You know, the security blanket that you can really hold on to and it doesn't come from anyone else. It's you. It's you. It's just about being you. And you see, the moment that you can live that is the moment that you can feel that love, self-love, loving yourself. Such a beautiful thing. To love yourself is to open up love for everyone and everything that is part of your life. It's no longer rooted in your dependencies, your inferiorities, your inadequacies, all of those things no longer exist. You see, to be correct is to appreciate your own magic, your own beauty. So I continue to remind you, you know, <laughs> love yourself. <laughs>